Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Guy Dawson Show at WCOBM.com, the World Center of Broadcast Media. My name is Guy Dawson, and I am the managing member of Classy Communications, a full-service media and marketing company. And if you would like to bring greater recognition to your business, your organization, or yourself personally, please get in contact with me at 702-845-6129 or visit our website, classycommunications.net. We are broadcasting to you live from the Gene Woods Racing Experience in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Just a stone throw. From the Las Vegas Strip. I don't have any of my co-hostesses here to take away my intro today. I'm super excited. I, I hope all of you are excited. We have a lady here today who is going to help you live a more abundant life. Her name is... Holly Lynn, and she is the queen of capital, and we met through a mutual friend, actually, Rhonda Taylor, who is a wonderful person, and uh, I'm so glad that she put the two of us together. Thank you, guy. Yes, Rhonda's amazing. Yeah, she came on and did a co-host spot about, uh, I guess it was a couple of months ago. I've been trying to get back in contact with her to get her to stop by again. Yeah, she's traveling right now. Yeah, yeah, wonderful person. and. We talk about making your dreams come true a lot on this show and, and networking and being in business and it's, uh, you know, it's all about relationships. The only reason why I know the Queen of Capital is because of a relationship that I had established with someone else. She saw that Holly and I could be synergistic and here we are. Yeah, synergy is um, the most important in relationships and stuff. and. Um, that is exactly what I use uh, to make money and how I created my, uh, my uh, title, Queen of Capital. That's exactly how that was done. And uh, for me, it's been a natural process. And so what I love to do more than anything is help other people do the same. Because um, for some it's a challenge and what I like to do is, is help them either set up a way to look at their finances and see, you know, what it is that they could do different or um, as well as if their finances are already structured, they can make really good returns. And that's what, um, you know, that's what I'm most known for. And as the queen of capital, you obviously have an affinity for finance. Have you always been that way? Mostly, mostly. Um, it started when I was a kid, actually. And I, since, I, since being a kid, I easily attracted money. That's where it started. And um, along with the TV show that I used to watch. See, I didn't watch Sesame Street when I was a kid. I watched uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And so there was something out there that I always knew existed more... Um, uh, a, a more plentiful life, more abundant life, and um, it was always connected to uh, that that same type of flow. But I've always wanted more. I've never uh, been satisfied with just okay. So I accomplish something and then I stop, take a break. It's about uh, to, to keep accomplishing. Like uh, I read the other day, don't take your one paycheck and then, uh, you know, stay with that. Like look at what you could do better for a bigger paycheck. But see, my concept is there. I don't create paychecks. I create cash flow, which are, I make it my job to go out and, uh, or attract people that know, um, that I work with a lot of investors and being an investor myself, um, they already have deals and so they come to me with them and uh, they're looking to fill theirs and so I work on returns. I honestly haven't had a nine to five since I was 19. Mm -hmm. And it's actually very humbling because uh, recently I have, I had a friend that just got a new job and uh, a couple of, uh, other people that I know too, like uh, th this thing called work, a job. And I'm going, you know, the other day I had to kind of hum humble myself and realize people work. Like that's, you know, this is that like, people have jobs. And because my day to day looks nothing like a job at all. 
it, it just, it, you know, my day to day is being in contact with people. Um, I do this a lot. You know, I meet with people, talk to people on the phone. Uh, it, connection, just connection, finding out where they really are, where um, where they want, where they're wanting to go. How I can enhance their finances, where I can uh, facilitate with that. People have interesting relationships with money. I mean, I've heard it described as that. We all have our own blueprint that it can either be set by early lifehood experiences. You know, there's a lot of different factors that affect the way that people relate to money. Do you do a lot of, of coaching people in terms of figuring out their relationship that they have with money as you're working with them to become more abundant? You know what? I don't. Actually, I'm so glad that you asked me that. I don't coach people at all. Um, what I do anything is when I'm in relationship with people, you know, when they ask me questions, I, I do consult, but mainly just out of being um, a friend and, you know, um, caring enough to take a look at what they have going on uh, so that they can enhance their finances. But as far as actually coaching, I have never wanted to actually be a coach. I've never... Um, Coaching to me, how I see that is, you know, pretty much like a this this one to one and a lot of clients and stuff like that. I don't have uh, clients; I have investors. Mm -hmm. So you're dealing with some pretty shrewd people off the bat. Yes. Generally, because yes. they are already uh, investors, mm -hmm. and so they're when they're coming to you, because I would assume a lot of the deals that you're putting together are high end deals, and so they're they're used to dealing with a lot of capital. Actually, they're not. Um, some th there are some that are, and then there are some that aren't. And that is actually a really big question that they do ask me: where they where can they get started? Um, uh, many people think that they don't have what it takes. That really gets my attention. Um, so then I have to kind of um, get down to the bottom of what it is that they are willing to start with, because. There might be something that comes along and say, for instance, uh, it's only a couple thousand dollars needed. Um, you know, so you can get started. And it doesn't take, you know, a whole lot of money. But the belief around that definitely is that. And so um, what the most simplest plan that I like to to use and if I had like paper you know it's, I've, I've done a video on this one but is you go from um, if you're working if you've got a job you go from having your paycheck to having your necessities so you take care of your necessities and then you take whatever percentage of your paycheck you want and you put that into your savings. You let that chill. Okay. You just let that money chill there for a while. So let that build up to whenever. Okay. Um, and then you want to take that money and put that into an investment. So it throws off cash flow. That's the money. The, the uh, interest from the investment is the money that you want to take and uh, spend on your clothing, your trips, your, your stuff, not your paycheck. So that's how you get ahead, and it's the simplest way to do it. Hmm. I was watching an in interview one time with, uh, who's the guy that used to, uh, the late night show? Johnny Carson, Jimmy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God, I'm just completely drawing a blank on it, but everyone knows who he is. Anyway, he was, uh, and I'll remember it probably in the next segment, I'll be able to come back and tell you who he, who he is. But he said that he would take, the money that he made from the Tonight Show, so it wasn't Johnny Carson. Who was after? Whoever uh, was after him, the wait. other guy. You know who Leto? I'm talking about. Leto. Jay Leto. 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 <laughs> anyway, I'm, we're almost going to go to commercial, but I'm going to come back in a few minutes. Thank God we have Scott, the engineer, here. Thank God we have Scott, the engineer, here. <laughs> to help us out with this, but I'm going to tell you this story when we come back from a commercial. Awesome. Holly Lynn, the queen of capital, is on the Guy Dawson Show for a complete hour today. We're going to be talking about how to live a more abundant life, become a better investor. We're going to have a lot of fun. Stay tuned.